Energy Transport Technologies, in partnership with Ross Transportation Technologies, has developed a series of wireless roadway and curbside chargers for electric and hydrogen hybrid electric buses. These non-contacting electromagnetic chargers replenish the onboard energy storage at bus stops and layover points while passengers are loading and unloading the vehicle. Fully electric buses, such as the articulated buses of bus rapid transit and the shuttle buses of community express services, no longer need to leave their routes for refueling. Our energy transfer technology can be applied to school buses as well. The benefit for our cities is fast transportation using clean and efficient energy. This enormous fleet of vehicles, about a half a million mostly diesel vehicles, can now be converted to microgrid-assisted hybrid electric propulsion. We can improve their fuel economy by about 40% while cutting emissions by about 75%. We connect the wireless chargers to many stations hosted by nearby buildings such that these facilities can be powered together with the vehicles. This is called distributed energy generation, a system which utilizes not only alternative and renewable energy sources, but also captures the generated waste heat for space and water heating and air conditioning. The combination of this highly efficient building and electric transit energy system operates at minimum cost and near zero emission. The linking technology is our wireless energy transfer unit. The core concepts of ETT's enabling technology are... Integrated distributed energy generation for buildings with energy supply for transit and shuttle vehicles. Hybrid energy generation and storage off vehicle. Electric propulsion and storage on board. Wireless energy transfer using high frequency electromagnetic induction from the road surface or curbside to the vehicle pickup. We realize these core concepts by radically transforming, for example, a regular 35 foot diesel transit bus into a fully electric wireless vehicle. First, we remove the diesel engine and its mechanical gearbox. We place it externally and convert it into a micro-turbine, a very small but powerful turbine not unlike those used on jet aircraft. This turbine can generate electricity using many different kinds of alternative fuels. This is now our propulsion power generator. Next, we take out the diesel fuel storage tanks and replace them with a new type of compact energy storage device, a small flywheel. We no longer need the diesel pump. We now can use electricity from the micro turbine and the flywheel to propel our bus, and optionally from solar cells or windmills as well. By generating propulsion power off vehicle, we can also use all that energy we used to exhaust into the atmosphere. The otherwise wasted heat can be turned to good use. We can use it in space heaters and air conditioners and provide warm water for the host buildings. To run a fleet of buses and to provide ample energy for the host building, we need multiple micro turbines, flywheels, and power converters. We place them into a utility room of the host building. The electric power generated in the utility room by the various energy sources is connected through a microgrid to the wireless electromagnetic pads at the bus stop. The pads are installed just under the pavement and they are not visible. We show them here exposed only for clarity. We power the building from the mini station in the utility room. The grid power, although still used as part of the energy mix, can be supplanted with power from windmills and solar cells and substituted with power from the locally stored fuels of natural gas, propane, butane, methane, and in the near future, hydrogen. These fuels provide clean and alternative energy sources for safe, uninterrupted operation. Thus, when our bus arrives at the stop, now equipped with a wireless energy pickup pad and pair of electric motors and inverters, it can receive the electromagnetic energy and have its onboard nickel metal hydride battery and ultracapacitor energy storage replenished. The energy transfer takes only 30 to 45 seconds. Once recharged and reloaded with passengers, the bus again is ready to continue on its regular route to the next stop or to the next charging station. In summary, our applied technologies include grid connection to power the energy storage devices, the wireless road surface or curbside pads, and the building when energy is inexpensive, such as overnight. Local generation of power using alternative and renewable fuel sources, converting them into both electricity and heat with microturbines. Energy storage for uninterrupted fleet and building operation, storing various alternative fuels and using flywheels for fast vehicle recharge. The combination and integration of these technologies can achieve 60 to 70 percent fuel efficiency with an average energy cost of 6 to 7 cents per kilowatt hour. We pay 11 to 14 cents per kilowatt hour of electricity in California. We double fuel energy efficiency. For the same energy functions, we cut fuel consumption to half. 
This means less pollution and better compliance to air quality standards. The advantages of our wireless energy transfer system benefit the bus fleet operator, the traveling public, and the environment.